Hey everyone, this is Larry with Today I Feel Like. I've been testing out the Sigma FPL full frame camera for the last couple of weeks. This is a 61 megapixel full frame sensored camera and it is tiny. Now, when I first tested it, I took it to the zoo and it produced some really, really lovely results. But because of its small size, I think this is the perfect camera to use for street photography. So right now I have the 45 to 8 on here. I also have a 28 to 70 to 8. So let's take a look at the 28 to 78, uh, 28 to 70 2.8. Put that on the body, see how it all looks together, and then take it out and do some shooting and see how this thing actually performs as a street shooter. All right. Here we go. All right, let's go ahead and get the 28 to 70 out of the case here so we can take a look at it. And here it is. And I can tell you right now, this thing is tidy. This is, uh, I, I, I would almost say it's cute because it's so small relative to other 2.8 zooms of this, uh, of this range. It is really, really tidy. So... We can see here it has a manual focus and autofocus switch on there, so you can make sure that you have it the way you uh, the way you want it. You have your uh, you have your zoom uh, right here. You also have a focus ring right here, so so that you can control your manual your focus manually if you want to. And then again, you have your zoom ring right there as well. So um, on the front here, it looks like we are going to have a 67 millimeter uh, filter ring. And we have the uh, we have a bayonet uh, style lens hood on there so that we can go ahead and lock that right in place there. Yeah, and there we have it. And again, this is an L mount, so there is the uh, the mount on the back there. Let's go ahead and um, let's go ahead and get this on my camera here so that um, so we can see what this is going to look like once it is all put together and. Let's see here. Let's get this thing. Let's see. Make sure we get this on there right. And there we go. And that is the uh, that is the lens on there right there. And that is nice and small. If you don't need a lens hood, you can take that off, and it becomes a little bit smaller there. And let's go ahead and put that back cap on there. But you can see there that is a really nice size. Uh, that's a nice size kit right there, especially if you're looking at a 28 to 70 that's going to give you a nice range and it's going to keep you nice and small so you're not going to draw a lot of attention to yourself so if you're out shooting and you don't want to have to worry about people looking at you and think you have some giant camera that's stalking them this is going to give you that nice sort of look that nice range there so all right let's take it out and uh and shoot a few pictures with it i'm going to shoot with the 28 to 70 i'm also going to shoot with the 45 to 8 and we'll see how they do so first of all, before we even head out, one of the things that I really like about this camera and this kit is that it's so small, you don't even have to even carry a regular camera bag. You can just take something like this. This is a little sling bag I have from PackSafe, and I'm just gonna grab the camera. I'm gonna go ahead and stick it right there. I'm gonna grab the, uh, I'm gonna grab the camera case right there. I mean, the, the lens case, I'll put it right there. It has the 45 in it. I have a couple of batteries here. I'll just stick them in there, and now, I can go ahead and I can zip this up and now I have the camera ready to go in my little sling bag right here. This is a little tiny like 10, uh, 10 liter sling bag. It does not look like a camera bag because it's not a camera bag and it's not going to draw any extra attention. So yeah. All right. Now that we have this thing packed up, let's go do some shooting. I made it out here to the National Harbor. I have the camera. So I'm gonna shoot around a little bit out here at the National Harbor in DC and just see what kind of good pics we can get and see how this thing works as a street shooter. Now I did leave the viewfinder at home, so I'm just gonna be shooting with the rear screen here. So we'll see how that works out. I'm not really used to shooting like that, but I like this camera nice and compact. So let's just see how this thing does and how it performs with the current setup.
Okay, so I was able to get a couple of cool shots here with this uh, FPL. And as I was shooting, there were a few things that I wish I had on this camera. One of them is a viewfinder. And that is because I kept on finding that I was bringing the camera up to my face, wanting to look through a viewfinder and not having it. Now, there is a viewfinder that you can attach to this camera, but I wish there was one that was built into the body so that it was still nice and small, but you had one there for you. Now, the other thing is I wish the back of the screen, the, the rear screen was a little bit brighter because when you have devices in your pocket, like the iPhone that have a nice bright 2000 nit screen, you get used to that. And then when you go to a screen that's still pretty good, but not quite as good, you notice it. And so even though this camera has a really nice LCD screen on the back, I wish that it was, uh, I wish it was a little bit brighter. So, all right, well, the sun's about to dip. So let's uh, head on and uh, shoot a little bit more. And then we'll go into DC and shoot there as well. So that is the National Harbor with the 28 to 728. So let's go ahead and swap this out. We'll put on the 45 and we'll head into DC, take a few pictures, and then we will head home and wrap this bad boy up. Well, I am back and I have to say that I really, really like these lenses and this camera and the combo. They're fantastic. First of all, this 45 is tiny paired up with this camera. It is tiny as well. But this right here, this 28 to 72 weight is just so compact and small. And the fact that you get that nice 28 to 70 range and at a constant aperture of f2.8 is just absolutely amazing for this little tiny size. I am loving it. The image quality is really, really amazing. I just can't believe that this little thing, this little package right here can create the wonderful images that it does. So yeah, now it's not perfect. There are a few things that I would like to see different on maybe an upgraded body. One of them was that I would love for there to be a flip up screen because there are times when I was shooting and I wanted to get a low angle and it was a little bit difficult because I would have to get down actually so I can see what I was shooting. It would be nice if I had a flip up screen so that I can actually just get that low angle and see what I was shooting without having to get on the ground. Now, the other thing is, is that I would really love to have a built-in viewfinder. Now, I know that you have, that I can get, or actually have with this, the viewfinder that I can attach here, but I don't want to attach it. I would rather just have maybe the body just a hair bigger, just a hair bigger if it meant that I got an included viewfinder. I kept finding that I would pull the camera up to my face to try and shoot with it, and then realize I don't have the viewfinder on. So, and if I put the viewfinder on, it's a little bit bigger of a package, but you at least have the viewfinder. So that's not like a thing. It's not like a deal breaker, but I wish it had it. So anyways, there you go. Um, I, I just think that this camera is a lot of fun to shoot with. It has a cine mode on there as well. So if you wanna shoot video, you can. I really focused on photography with this camera because for me, that's what I would think of using this for is for a nice, small, compact sort of street shooter. And it's a winner in that regard. So, all right. I'm gonna leave a link to the lenses down in the uh, body, down in the video description so that you can check it out, uh, check them out. I'm also gonna leave links to my Amazon page and my social media contacts. You can reach me elsewhere. And I hope you enjoyed seeing this video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up. 
and please subscribe to this channel and follow me on Instagram. And I am Larry with Today I Feel Like. Thanks for coming back to see me. Come back and see me soon. And until next time, love, peace, and hair grease. Peace.